we are going to travel uh, via Skype to Louisiana and talk with an amazing mom. Bambi Gilbo is joining us. Bambi, welcome to the show. Hi. It's so Hi. we're so thrilled to have you. And and Bambi, you've got a daughter who's on the autism spectrum, Autumn. You've got an amazing project that you're working on right now. The hashtag is Help Autumn Here. Tell us a little bit about Autumn and what you decided to do and what she needs. So Autumn is my oldest daughter. She's six and be nine years old. Um, she was born deaf and then she got her autism diagnosis um, almost at about age three. Um, so we, at, at one years old, we decided to do a cochlear implant. And so we went ahead with that. Um, and she's been doing fairly well with it. We have had some extra struggles with her having the autism diagnosis, um, but recently they came out with a new cochlear implant to where there is no part that hangs on your ear, which is the most annoying part for her, um, you know, rubbing against her. And so we are trying to raise the funds because it's about um, five grand to, to come up with it. Um, and insurance does not cover this, even though you know, it's more beneficial to her with her autism diagnosis with the deafness, her insurance will not cover it. So we're raising the funds and we are almost there. Um, so it would be just less invasive for her to where she can kind of live life a little bit um, more normal than she would, you know, constantly taking it off because it's rubbing against her for sensory purposes. And you know, I, I'm sure that the parents watching are stopping and thinking to themselves because you, you know, everybody has a different uh, journey through autism. But, <coughs> excuse me, when you hear that, that first you, you, you got told that your child was deaf and then you went through the cochlear implants and then you found out that your child had autism, you've already been through the ringer. Can we just say that? You've been through a lot and you've survived all of it and, and have, have been an awesome mom and, and done everything that you needed to do for your daughter. And then when you find out, okay, there's this new thing, I can't imagine how devastating it was to realize that insurance wasn't going to cover it. And I just want to say shame on them for not covering it because it seems obvious to me that um, that's something that should be covered. But I love the fact, Bambi, that you didn't just say, oh, well, there's nothing we can do about it. You took matters into your own hand and started a fundraiser. I talk to parents all the time about the fact that this is an option. This is absolutely an option. And a lot of times they feel squeamish about it. What made you decide to do the, the fundraiser? And was it hard for you? And what's happened along the way? Tell them a little bit about you know, whether you would recommend that process. I would definitely recommend the process. One thing I've learned, especially with Autumn, she's forced me to learn this, is that great things come out of whenever you're uncomfortable, whenever you do it anyway. Um, she's forced me to, because my daughter, she likes to go up to them and, you know, play with their watches and she's obsessed with glasses and stuff like that. So she would go into someone's face in their personal space, you know, and I tended to be a shy person. So she forced me out of my comfort zone to go up to people and kind of be friendly and just, um, you know, make light of the situation. And so through that, she slowly have broken me of just sitting comfortably, you know, and pushing me out of my comfort zone to do things uh, that I'm passionate about or things that I desire. Um, and so this is kind of one of those things, like I, at first it's, I'm like most people, you know, I didn't want to really ask for help. I just want to figure it out. But once I realized every single way I tried, I knew that we weren't going to do it alone. And then also I've learned just with being in the special needs community with my daughter, like it takes, it really takes a village, you know, some, it takes a group of people to be there for you to lean on to help you. And you would be so surprised at how many people want to help, like they don't know how. And so if you give them an opportunity, you know, just to do financially, or if it's just to share, they don't have any money, but they can share it. They can tell other people about it. We actually had some friends from Tennessee because we lived up there for a few years. They did not have the money. But for Christmas, they said, hey, friends and family, we don't want any money like you normally give us, but we would love for you, whatever you're going to give to us, to give it to our friends for their daughter um, uh, to, to raise money for this fundraiser they're doing. And so I just can't tell you how uh, just that really touched us, you know, and it blessed them, it blessed us, and people just feel like they are part of something, and they really are. 
we can't do it without anyone else and, and we're almost there so like I didn't really expect much but um, people who I have no idea who they are have been giving and contributing and sharing uh, autumn story and and that's got to feel great but I but I, I I know that when we say this all the time on the show you can be down in the dumps and if you do something for somebody else it lifts you up so I believe that every single person that has donated has has felt like you said that they are a part of something bigger and that's a really good feeling so you said you're close I know I looked last night uh, but I don't remember what the number was but I remember thinking oh man they're they're really close so do you know where you are as of this morning you wanted to raise five thousand dollars do you know have any idea where you are we are uh, six hundred and ninety dollars left to give okay six hundred and ninety dollars so and how much time is, is GoFundMe I can't remember is that a time thing where you have a certain amount of time to get there not that I'm aware of okay there maybe but not that I'm aware of okay so if people so it's in GoFundMe though and if people put in the hashtag um, help autumn here they're going to find it easily i was able to find it easily um and then they can go and donate and be a part of that now as soon as you get the five thousand dollars how soon after that will autumn be able to get the cochlear implant um usually with cochlear um i, I can get something like two days wow later, so that quickly is it a big surgery or is it just a a small thing um you talking about the initial I, well, I don't know Eventually. what the process is, so educate so, me. <laughs> so for a cochlear implant, uh, you have to undergo surgery for the first time. It's a pretty, for most parents, you know, a major surgery. Um, they do an incision uh, on the head, and then they also have to go through the inner ear. So basically what a cochlear implant is, they have an internal part that they thread. It looks kind of like jellyfish legs. They thread that through the cochlea of the ear. And then they also have a little magnetic piece that kind of goes on the back of the head right here. Um, and then they sew it all up. It takes about, I think they wait it about six weeks. And then you get the external part. It hooks on your ear. Um, and it, that's where the microphone is at. And then there's another little piece that has a magnet, uh, magnet on it as well that connects to the internal process. So that part was a little tough. I mean, there is a lot of healing process. But after that, as far as like upgrading it, get newer technology, it's just as you just get a new thing, they program it and they just put it on. So that part has been really easy to okay. transition. So she won't time. she won't need any additional surgery. It's just gonna they'll just plug it in. Yep. Spectacular. So yeah, will awesome. you do me a favor? Because obviously you're gonna make it to your uh, your goal and you're gonna make it soon. I'd love I'll tell you what I would love to do. Everybody who's watching the show, I would like to encourage you to donate whatever you can or to share. As Bambi said, if you don't have the money to give, share it because somebody else you know may want to give. And, and let's get you there before World Autism Awareness Day. Let's get you to that, that deadline before it. Let's say we all do that. And then what we'd love, Bambi, is if you will take some home movie of once you get it and, and how it's working out. I can't even imagine with all the sensory things that the kids with autism have issues with, how difficult it would be to have a big thing on the back of your ear. I really want to make sure that um, that we're a part of this miracle and, and that Autumn gets the opportunity to hear in a way that's good for her. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So again, we want to tell people, go to GoFundMe, put in hashtag help Autumn here, and then we'll, you'll, you'll videotape for us and let us know how it goes. I definitely will. All I'll right. Lots of videos. Well, we just so appreciate you. And I just want to commend you because there are a lot of parents who get stuck. And, and I want to say to anybody who's stuck and if there's something that your kid needs and you just can't do it, I had this conversation with a parent the other day, years ago, when we could not afford to do the testing for biomedical. Somebody said, have a fundraiser. And I thought my skin was going to crawl off my body and go into a corner. Because I thought, oh, how horrifying. Best thing I ever did in my entire life. The people who came up to me, right? And, and people came up to me and said, thank you. I didn't know how to help you. I didn't know what to do. So thank you for having a fundraiser so that I could do something. We still have people who will send us Christmas cards and say, we're so happy we were a part of Gems Miracle. So 
I commend you. It's not, not easy to get started, but once you get started, it's a really powerful thing. It is. Thank you so much, Bambi. Give our best to your whole family and give Autumn a squeeze for us, okay? Well, thank you. All right, take care. Bye-bye for now. No. Um, what a story, okay? So help Autumn here. Go to GoFundMe. Uh, it doesn't have to be a whole lot of money that you give. It can be a small amount of money or just share it. Let's get it. Let's get her done, right? Let's put that in the done pile.